Yeah, you too, you know what it is, boy. Starbucks, TSJ, Team Sneaker Junkies, back at it again. As you see in the title of the video, I'm very fucking upset. But before I get into the video, I'm gonna just give a brief discussion about, like, why this shit got me so heated and, like, the whole point of the damn thing. Basically, the shoe that I was trying to get was Burn 9 Chinas. Uh, what else is it called? Well, the blue, you know what I'm talking about. But basically, in a nutshell, it's, in it's income tax time, so of course, I had a couple extra, extra dollars laying around. Just tucked a couple dollars away from my apartment. I'm about to move to um, for my car or whatever. So after that, I had all this money left over. Of course, I'm going to spend some money on sneakers. Y'all seen a couple I already showed, but it's a lot more y'all didn't see. And these was one of them, and that's the reason why I didn't shoot no video for all the shit I got yet, because I was waiting for certain shoes to come in. So basically, in a nutshell, this shoe been haunting the hell out of me, man. I still want them to this day. And the first time, basically, I, um, I had like a couple extra hundred dollars laying around. I'm like, is there any shoe that I want really bad? And I don't want to get no Jordans right now. Is there any shoes I want really bad that's worth, that's cost more than retail, that's worth it? And the China was the only one I could think of because when I first seen them, I thought it was okay. But when I seen them in person, I was, I was instantly hooked, but I wasn't paying them. Three fifty, three fifty to four hundred dollars for them because there's too many other sneakers I gotta worry about right now to actually spend that type of bread. So basically, um, income tax time to freeze up money for me. So I already, I just signed up for an eBay account because I'm gonna start selling shit and of course I wanna buy shit. So the first thing I look for was those, and I found some boy overseas and I'm like, he a top rated seller. Cause when you see that stamp of approval top rated seller you know like you get no no like it's hard for you to get anything fucked up from that person so i bought off him and everything went through it was a go or whatever but like two days later he backed out of the deal saying it was his last pair he seen a lot of flaws and shit on him of course i'm heated because he backed out but then again i'm kind of glad he did because i might have been snapping oh these are fake this that of course bullshit or this is fucked up he wore them or some shit so i had to take the 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 high price route and I'm with the flightclub.com and of course I ain't feel like driving up there because I'm not that far from them, but I said I might as well order this quicker so I went to go order them they had one ten and a half left and I'm like I ain't got to worry about them because the bullet I was ordering from the first time off eBay he was overseas so I probably had to wait two three weeks for them but since I was getting to the flight club I know I gotta wait two three days so like two days go by, I'm hype as shit at work, looking at the pictures like I've never seen them before and shit, and they fucking canceled my order, like you gotta be fucking kidding me, it's the second time, like what happened to, I'm thinking it's my bank account, something wrong with my bank account, but actually it wasn't, the whole time what, what happened was that somebody bought the shoes out of the store already before they, they placed my order through, so when they placed my order through, they wanted to go check, I guess, and notice that they wasn't there, so they had to get my money back, refund me. So basically, after that happened, I was just done. You ain't gonna ask me, you know I'm getting you know, I don't know where, but I'm getting So I ain't had, like, that was my fault for being a compulsive buyer, because it was like, I couldn't wait a couple days to order this shit. I wanted them now, because that, all that shit happening, that was two weeks at a, two, two weeks time. So waiting for all that shit made me want to meet more. Like, right now, I want to wait no more days. So... My next step was like go to all the websites to sell pre-orders, early releases, and you know they charge too much. So I'm seeing if maybe they got a couple pairs laying around or left over. So Jack Sneaker thought they didn't have them. Uh, was it Trans Big Cartel they didn't have them, and it was a couple other ones nobody had them. And the other ones, a couple other ones I did check that had them. They didn't have my size, or they wanted 400. I'm not paying that. I mean, I thought 350 was too much. So basically. I got it from the, the, the site y'all see on the title, Sneaker Hotline. So I'm like, I don't know, but I mean, I see everybody on YouTube getting shit from them, everybody promoting them, like, and it say big as day on their fucking page that they sell number 100% authentic shoes or whatever, right? So they had one ten and a half left for 280. I'm like, damn, that's kind of cheap. So with the and shipping and handling included, it was like 310. So. It took about a week and a half for them to come, and I'm about to show you the results. Okay, they don't mind me, I'm outside, so I'm not going to eat my meat on them, I think I'm fucking talking to myself. 
some shit. But anyway, this is the package that came in, so this already fucked me up enough. Like, he said double box, and this shit is like paper. It's just paper. And I'm just the tag, so even though I'm not fucking bullshit, I got my name and everything. I'm not even read his handwriting, but this is where it came from. Out. Where? Okay. Australia. That says Australia, right? Okay. Now, I'm going back. Now, I got other LeBrons coming, but they not, I don't have money right now, so I'm using my brother's cannons right now for a comparison, so he has a bigger fucking foot than me. Besides me. Okay, he wear a 13. This ain't his real size, but you know LeBron's is very small. And this is a 10 and a half. Now, are you ready? You're going to sell rip. Of course, the boxes are going to be bigger. That's some fact. But the size is different. But it, I've already seen how they look in the 10 and a half the box. The box is not this fucking small. All rip, you can tell by the tags. See how pink that is? How bright red that is? Now, let me show you his cannons first. Okay, you know we don't pay for we don't uh, ziplock bag boys. You gotta keep everything up oh, ziplock. Now see, he took a shoes from his house. He got the fuck up. Damn, damn that's your brightest hell on there. But basically, he put both shoes from there. But these are the and then he still got his bag. See his Nike rubbing off. But I mean, it's a Nike bag. You feel me? Like, see the tag and everything, and the bottoms and all that shit. Now let me show you the, the, these fucking China bullshit. These got like on camera. They even look fake. Like, look at this shit. That's not supposed to be showing. Like, you can't even tell that's an LJ because that's not blue like it's supposed to be. The sole is not even fucking translucent. Like, I thought it wouldn't show up on camera, but on camera you can't even see it. It's, it's not translucent. The tongue is extremely small. Let me find this little shit. Now, this is the fucking bag it came in. Do you not, do you see a Nike sign anywhere on this shit? Like, the fucking shoelaces don't even say uh, LeBron, whatever the fuck the shit supposed to say on it. And... Let me put the shoes together. Now look at that shit. You see that? Now look at the backs. Just cause like uh, we my my man's had a discussion with somebody on Twitter telling him like uh, we finding out that uh, sneaker hotline sell fakes. And he said he arguing with somebody and telling him no fuck they don't. Send him pictures of the shit I showed him the differences. And we supposed to have this big uh, exposing drum because they fucking me over or whatever, right? So, they playing me now. They don't want to answer me. I'm not going to say no names, but basically, this is just let everybody know. Don't fucking buy from me. Or if you do, be careful because they got the shit out of me. This is just crazy. I can't believe it. Like, I didn't even know they had fake LeBron. This coming from a dude who used the world fakes. I still got a couple fakes in the house that I'm about to give away and shit. But, like, I actually argue with these motherfuckers on the phone. But I'm phone on I want to show y'all the emails right now. I might show y'all another video, but I can't show you right now because I'm recording this shit off my phone and the emails are on my phone. And I don't actually see I don't have my computer on. So, basically, in that shit, I told them, like, these shoes are replicas. These are not real. I know what a real China shoe, fuck that. I know what real shoes look like, period. I've been buying shoes a long time, so I'm like, why do you want to rectify this situation? And they try to play me because I guess I'm a consumer. I don't know nothing. Well, those are 100% real. We don't mess with nothing fake. So, uh, take them down to your local uh, shoe store, like Full Lock somewhere, and they'll tell you. I'm like, I don't have to go to no damn uh, sneaker fucking store or something. You can tell off rip the tag is from. The shoe actually fits. I wear a 10 and a half, and I got, uh, I tried on a 10 and a half uh, X Christmas. It was too small until I took the, uh, the, the insole out. But these fit like a fucking 11. They're already too big. This part. Everybody should know, as you can see, it goes into a dip all the way down, come up. These shits don't dip at all. Like, in the tongue. Look at the tongue. See how big that tongue is? It don't hard, It don't set up. You have to literally push it up and it's loose as shit. That's how fakes are. But this is the first fake where the, the fucking tongue is intact. You ain't got to move. Look, I can't even make it fall down. It keep going the fuck back up. Like, come on. And 
He's saying basically arguing with me still, telling me these are they're one hundred percent real. Basically, they don't do refunds and shit. So basically, I, I had to just take a loss. Basically, I'm still gonna get the real one. That mean no difference to me. But I just wanted to show everybody that don't believe all these fucking these fucking websites. Not just eBay. Like, and I know a lot of people say spot fakes when because they call sixty five dollars. I paid two eighty three ten plus shipping. For these fucking fake ass shoes. Now, if I pay sixty five dollars for these shoes, I have no reason to fucking bitch. I know what I'm getting myself into. But if I pay three hundred dollars for a fucking shoe, I want it to be fucking real. Like I'm not stepping foot in these. Like I told you, I don't have no problem wearing fakes if I want them. But I don't want no fakes of these motherfuckers. I want real. I don't even own. Like everybody that's used to wear fakes don't even wear fakes anymore. The fakes getting worse and worse. Like, you already know they're going to be fucked up, but now they extremely fucked up. Like, even dumb motherfuckers that don't know nothing about shoes can't, it, like, tell from far back that they fake. That's how bad it's getting. I know a lot of fake niggas that wore fake sneaks, like, faithfully, don't wear them no more. That's how bad it is. But my point is being, look at this, it's too fucking obvious, man. Like, I don't even have to put a solid color drawn up. That's okay. I mean, I'm pissed, but I ain't that pissed. I got the swing mans coming. I got the Christmases drones on the way, and of course I got them, um, them, um, Lake Summit Hornet drones. I pre-ordered them shit a long time ago. They on the way, and I got a couple other things on the way, but that, that right there just let me know I gotta be, in, I gotta be patient. Stop being impatient. That was my fault. I lost sight of what I usually do. Like, I don't fucking sit there and compose a buy and just, oh, I gotta hurry, get out of here, get out of here, because I got money on my, I gotta learn to take my time and be cautious. I honestly only did that because I wanted to wear these or get these, the real ones, before uh, the summer, the summer broke and it got real, real hot because I wanted to wear it with a jean jacket. I got, I even got a Knicks hat to match. So with these, I don't know. I know a few people who sell, wear fake still, and if you want, I had no problem with people wearing fake. Do you? Like everybody ain't got money. So basically, if a lot of people, I, I don't find nobody around here that want them. Anybody on YouTube, you want them, you can have seventy-five dollars. I paid. You making a big ass come up? I paid three hundred dollars. You getting basically? You're getting $225 off. Like, you can't beat that. And I don't know. I may even throw the hat in. But you know, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll get back at y'all later with the real fucking videos. One.